5th of September, 2008. I've been doing my best to keep the grounds clean. A source of happiness, like in keeping my sock drawer organized when the rest of the room is a catastrophe. Nice to have a small corner of cleanliness and the order of the world. What? I haven't yet found the words to describe what's happening out there. Descriptor aside, my memory of the land and the arm of the water might be out of date. The supply boat is two days late. The telltale sign that things have only gotten worse. Kara haunts me. The kind way. That was her way. Only fair with her memory was the same. We'll have to write more about her. Make this her extended epitaph. No, cloudy today. Cloudy forever. The 6th of September, 2008. Still nothing. I've taken to shooting up flares whenever I see light on the horizon. It's never close enough to see its source, only a soft distant glow. The flares are gambling. Whether or not I want the light's attention is unknown. Cutting back on food consumption, certainly many elsewhere are doing the same. Power issues on the island, nagging past, but welcome distraction. Something to get me outside. Take it up sketching to further my distraction. I was never very good at it, throwing everything away after completion. <laughs> Who am I afraid might see them? The 7th of September, 2008. Wondering if I'll ever get a day if Kara's face doesn't cross my mind. Not a memory or a moment. Face. I spent a lot of time wishing that she would leave me in peace for a while. But in writing this, I realized that I hope she never does. Birds have been making for okay company. Beggars can't be choosers. Remind me, look into generator issue. Give it a good kick and nothing else. There's a new glow on the horizon. It's been there for hours. Something about the way it lingers compels me to let the flare gun rest. Nothing overtly troublesome about the glow, but it still feels better to let it stay there than be here. Found extra food stores. Treated myself to a feast, albeit a guilty one. Pretended was in the company of Jan, lovable oaf, telling the stories of exploits from his not so glamorous days, working in show business. Wonder if any of them were true. Wonder if he made it to safety. The 8th of September, 2008. Bird songs annoyed me today. Must mean I'm getting grumpy. Will motivate self to go for a run tomorrow. Exercise some inner demons. Extra food consumption will be well worth improved mood. What else is there to strive for? The 9th of September, 2008. Started digging a hole today. Knee was acting up, so run was cut short. Not sure of hole's purpose yet, other than exercise and sense of accomplishment takes me back to boyhood. My parents tried to convince me that the world was too big to dig through the other side. I wouldn't listen. Surely I could at least hit the magnet, scoop some with a pail, and make it into a lamp. Funny, those aspirations. The island's power issue has turned from nuisance to mystery. Equipment is fine, but found evidence of something tampering with the generator. A box of bolts was not broken. Must be a surviving critter. I should say, hopefully, 
and survive in the river. I've taken to eating meals outside, a different location each day. The ritual keeps me out of the fresh air. That's boredom quite effectively. The hole is coming along great. No sign of magma. The 10th of September, 2008. Need to be writing more about Kara. Each time I put pen and paper before her, I felt something easier. Strange how it's so easy to write about a thing as big as an island, but difficult to define a person. <laughs> That's it. Definition. Great place to start. Kara. Verb. Always in present tense. To illuminate people from within. To endear without effort. The 11th of September, 2008. Took soil from hole and left it on the floor surrounding generator. Hoping to catch animal tracks, nothing more. We'll go down and check immediately after next power loss. Kara, adjective, kind to a fault, lazy in the mornings, beauty beyond the stars. Twelfth of September, two thousand eight. No loss of power in three days since I laid out the soil. Hmm. Conscious reaction to my little trap. Been working through my thoughts surrounding the day it hit. Tough work to do without the benefit of a therapist. Defining the pain should come first, I suppose. Was a pain like realizing a theory to be truth. Truth being, man is only a blink. Face of eternity. Kara, noun, an only child, born to parents that had fallen into, through, and out of love. Thirteenth of September, two thousand eight. Finally, another power flicker. Strange how I was almost looking forward to it. Seemed to pulse in Morse code. That was just wishful thinking of a lonely man. Letters were nonsense. Most frustrating of all, no prints in the soil. Maybe saw a single scrape on periphery, but that could have been from my own boot. I'll have to pay closer attention to the state of soil this time. Didn't like yesterday's definition. It was a bad day, I guess. Trying again. Kara, now. A girl, forever eight years of age in her father's eyes. Forever learning knock-knock jokes. The 14th of September, 2008. Given up on the hole it was a good distraction while it lasted. Thinking of putting something special at the bottom, filling it in. Buried treasure that maybe only I will ever know of. Enjoyed a campfire last night on the bluffs, but I think it will be my last. Something feels wrong about making this place into a beacon. Could have a fire down near woods or caves, but would be sacrificing view. Placing it with darkness on all sides. When did I become afraid of the dark? The 15th of September, 2008. I'm afraid they might be on the island. Can't imagine how. Having to lock all doors. Soil around generator had a second drag mark, but nothing else. We'll have to write faster. Kara, noun, a girl that is convinced she can fly with the help of cardboard wings. 
observation. Seasons are getting exponentially longer. Winter is far behind schedule. The 16th of September, 2008. I've been falling down on the job, letting the condition of the grounds deteriorate. Didn't even realize it. Started cleaning up again. Felt good. Also took a trip down to the caves. Shouted a bunch for the sake of hearing my own echo. It was fun. Seventeenth of September, two thousand eight. Saw something in the caves. Something. Wasn't threatened or scared though. Why is that? Guess I'm getting old or reckless. I am well aware that too much solitude can breed hallucinations. I have full confidence that I will not be going crazy anytime soon. I'm smarter than that. Still no sign of them. Why am I being left alone? Perhaps they're simply here on holiday. <laughs> Beginning to question if they're here at all. Now what was I saying about not going crazy? After seeing more movement in the cave, went down to the beach and made a little sand castle. Far enough out that the tide would come and take it soon. I think I'll keep making them like that. Washed away each day. A clean canvas for a new design. I like to think the people in those castles are just sailing away instead of drowning. The 19th of September, 2008. Observation. I don't take enough deep breaths anymore. It's remarkable how helpful they are to one's mood. Also haven't been closing my eyes other than to go to sleep. Another simple and lovely addition to my morning, noon, and night routines. Sandcastles are getting more intricate using sticks and cloth and flags, pebbles for people. Slightly regretful that they're swept away each day, but it's become an essential part of my process. Essential to all things, it seems. Oh, there I go again. Quit being such a drag. Will not write a single sad thing to First of September, 2008. Ha! <laughs> Just read last line of last entry. I skipped a day entirely. So, technically, he didn't write anything sad. And 
can go right back to behaving glumly. Still, I will honor the spirit of my promise. I don't feel very sad anyway. It's a warmer day. The birds are getting more comfortable with me. They hop a little closer with each day. Does that mean I'm becoming a part of this island? Kara, adjective, of or pertaining to pure joy. Second of September, 2008. Can't sleep, so I have turned to the pen. There's no need for an early morning, so why not enjoy a late night? I'll be right back. Morning now. Turns out that late nights are not to be enjoyed. Sounds outside could not possibly be born of birds or wind. I haven't noticed this because I'm typically asleep after midnight, but lights and power go absolutely haywire until dawn. How can mere electricity seem so angry? The fear I shook has come back tenfold. I want to go back to sleeping through these dark hours, but can I? Kara, adjective, brave beyond one's years, stalwart. Considered moving generator into next room over, fortunately thought wiser. Motor's noise would mask any approaching threats. Generator also seems to attract them. Maybe I should just move it further away. Could also quit bothering entirely and shut the thing down. No. Preference to darkness is a step towards insanity. The lights will stay on. The 23rd of September, 2008 went to the cave again. Not sure why. Saw something again. I never believed in ghosts. Still don't. Some stray neuron deep in my mind must be eager to bring Kara back to the real world, forcing glimpses of her in places that are otherwise empty. I'll do my best to enjoy these moments without talking to them. Tricks of the mind, played by the eyes. Went for a swim, it was cold as hell, and something new. While I was out there, I could have sworn that I heard a passenger airliner overhead. Hard to believe the things are still flying. Wished I wasn't so close to the surf. It was too noisy. Now I'll never be sure what I heard. Food store is getting low. Been having fantasies of building a raft and sailing away, but where would I go? As of yet, I have been left in relative peace. I doubt very much I could find the same anywhere else. This gives rise to a question. Is there someone else on some other island writing a journal of her own? The 24th of September, 2008. Thought of Jan again, even in memory. He's simply a joy to be around. He told me that he worked on a Wahlberg film with a crew so large that he was able to hide from work for the entire job. He said the only person on the job that knew his name was the accountant that cut his checks. <laughs> How did such a big man hide from work so well? I never thought I would see Jan Grimace growl or throw a punch. Seeing him do those things more as we fled the city was unnerving. I'm glad he was there. Come to think of it, I wouldn't have made it without him. I should write about him in this book. Tear out the page and bury it somewhere. I should do that. The 25th of September, 2008. More light on the horizon, an uncommon teal quality to it. Not a good sign. I'm glancing now between this page and the glow, hoping for a flicker, any sign of weakness. Their impenetrable perfection remains damning to us all. To see it falter would likely make no difference to me. 
other than a sort of emotional victory. Two hours have passed, and the light has not wavered. What are they doing out there? I think loneliness is made far worse when one has been in good company. If this belief is true, then I am cursed for the rest of my days. This beckons that horribly frustrating cliché. A good problem to have. Twenty-sixth of September, 2008. I should have taken stock rather than prattling about lost loves. It would have taken a single day of writing to catalog the contents of the food stores, but it simply didn't seem important. Now I can neither confirm or deny my theory, but I'm almost certain that the supply has been replenished. The explanation is either my own madness or I'm being kept alive troubling on all sides, as per usual. The 27th of September, 2008. Music. What an idiot I've been. I suppose I have the excuse of being far enough from technology to forget, but I've been humming tunes to myself for months without once considering actually playing something. It's so terribly telling that the very idea of a non-essential pleasure has slipped my mind all this time. A lapse of thought and a level of brain damage, though I suffered no such blow. I've been finding appreciation for songs and bands that I never gave a second chance before things took a turn. This is partly because the supply of discs is so limited. Pink Floyd, can you believe that? Sometimes I watch the lights on the horizon and listen to Pink Floyd. If you knew me, you would appreciate how absurd that is. Who am I writing? Just realized I haven't had a dream since I arrived here. Am I sleeping too deep to experience them? Or are they too dramatic to remember? There's no one here to tell me I'm not screaming all through the night. of September 2008. Can't sleep. Light on horizon getting brighter. Now accompanied by that ironically peaceful droning sound. Like a Mongolian throat singing wrapped in flowers. At least they have a sense of humor. The 29th of September 2008. Birds. Thirtieth of September, two thousand eight. I've taken to stacking stones in my free time. <laughs> what time isn't free? The antithesis to my hole digging. If nothing else, I'm a master of avoiding idle hands. These little activities keep me pleasantly busy. Not sure why I continue to destroy my work at each day's end, just like the sandcastles. 
update, I must be tapping into the truth. Nothing is permanent. The 1st of October, 2008. Swear they're getting closer to the castle walls each night, or am I simply staying up later? What have they been doing? Are their hands idle as well? Maybe one day I'll step outside to see remnants of their own holes, or sand castles, or stone piles. Maybe they wish to make amends for what they've done, for what they've taken away from me. Kara. Forced into a fleeting existence. The second of October, two thousand eight. If there truly is something waiting for us on the other side, I highly doubt anyone has touched it and returned to describe it. No golden gates, brilliant winged beings, or clouds that taste like ice cream probably couldn't be described. Not like stepping into the neighbor's house, but dispersing into all homes and appreciating the love they contain instead of the new furniture and renovated kitchen. Fourth of October, 2008. Who are you? Do we have anything in common? Do you have anything to add? Did I give you this book in person? Is it in a museum? Found in a grave? Do you exist, dear reader? I hope you do. This is as much for me as it is for you. What would you do if you were in my place? Become nocturnal and go out to meet them. My day was so-so. Ready for bed now. What about you? The 5th of October, 2008. Huh, the gray hair. No one to share it with. My earliest memory, believe it or not, was gliding down a corridor in my mother's arms. I like to think that was the day we were leaving the hospital via wheelchair. Everyone thinks the memory is fabricated for a baby to see, understand, and remember anything from the day they were born is nigh impossible. The 6th of October, 2008. Chased Kara through the caves today. I know, I know. It's bad to engage a hallucination. I promise I won't go in too deep. <laughs> Perhaps I should bring a canary with me next time, just to be safe. The water all around the island was boiling, steaming. It was so incredibly hot that I couldn't even get near it. It was fascinating to see what the bubbles did to the breaking waves. Though the steam was thick and the water loud, I could see that the teal light was all around. A pleasant droning sound was within me. Evidence of my first dream? Like my first memory. The lines are blurred. Kara. Noun. A child that loves ponies and planes with equal passion.
7th of October, 2008. I can't explain it, I just can't. The food stores have doubled, an increase so large that the boxes and cans have spilled out of the closet in an avalanche of nourishment. I'm almost afraid to eat the stuff, but I can't tell it apart from what was mine and what is theirs. Forget how it got here. Where did they get name brand foods in the first place? Spent all afternoon taking half of the food and piling it outside. A polite refusal of their services, whatever they may be. I am being toyed with. For the sake of toying back, I drew a happy face on one of the cans. The 8th of October, 2008. It's like I'm playing a game of poker where the stakes are constantly getting raised beyond my means. Though only a night has passed, the food has aged and spoiled beyond a month. The bread is stiff and moldy, potatoes grown sprouts, apples bruised and rotten. What have you been up to? Are you reading this in one sitting or savoring it? I hope you'll take your time, assuming you have the time to spare. Have to go to sleep now. Maybe you could too, as a mutual good night across time. The 9th of October, 2008. They're at it again with the generator. Only this time it's not turning back on. Would normally wait until morning to fix. Getting brazen in my old age. Hmm. Going now. Limited on flashlight batteries and can't afford to be wasting them. Perhaps I should put in a request for more from my mysterious benefactors. of October 2008. I can't tell how long I was down there. I believe the moon phase has shifted a week. Once again, it's difficult to be sure, thanks to my lack of attention to detail, dwindling faith in my own ability to observe my surroundings. I'm going to clear my head with some time in the cave. The 11th of October, 2008. Had a great vacation. Saw the sights. Anything exciting happened in my absence? Oh well. Back to the old ground. Piled stones. Kicked them over. Made castle. Washed it away. Dug hole. Filled it in. I've been hearing wind blow through the castle at night, but can't find a single open window. Rather than let it drive me mad, I think I'll just treat it like music. If I tap my shoes to give it a beat, howling, whistling, it can sound delightful. I was treated to a delightful show last night. I don't claim to understand the physics of it all, but somehow, the Aurora Borealis made it this far south. Just a brief and gentle tickle in the sky, but enough to start me sobbing. Guess I turning soft. It was nice, and I'm glad that its return is completely unpredictable. It gives something to hope for each day.
12th of October, 2008. I want to take a bullet for someone. That's what my young, unsophisticated self would say when asked how he wanted to die. A product of watching cliche action movies. I grew older and the method remained similar to turning the bay. I want to die for a good cause. Older still, realism. I want to die in my sleep. Now instead of the answer changing, the question does. How do I wish I had died? More Aurora Borealis tonight. Perhaps I'm witnessing the planet's swan song, or at least this hemisphere's swan song. I wonder if things are better on the other side. I'll have to dig a hole to find out. Where do they sleep? seen every square inch of the No trace of my guests. If they're active at night, where do they go during the day? This makes me imagine them crawling out of the sea of dusk and returning to the depths of night. After tinkering with the food supply and power source, of course. Thirteenth of October, two thousand eight. Just like that, I've crossed the line, reached the point where people begin to wonder if they've lived a good life, done well. If merely surviving is worth a few points, my score would be high. Sadly, legacy is what matters. All I have to show for my existence is this book. How do you appraise its value? Was I worth it, Tyler? Adjective. Geographically secluded in search of peace. Fourteenth of October, two thousand eight. Seeing Aurora every night now. <laughs> Funny how my Last remaining friends are an atmospheric anomaly. Visions of my daughter in a cave and invaders from the sea. Or are they from the sky? Friends are friends, I suppose. 15th of October, 2008. Crummy mood almost got the best of me. I didn't want to tell you, but I've been going on a hunger strike. The food supply continues to grow. I can't walk in the basement without playing a ball to the kid and kid. Feeling more and more like their pet. The 16th of October, 2008. I just keep hoping to meet you. Imagine my delight, knowing the face of the person who will read my legacy. I picture you to be young. Wishful thinking? The longer you live, the longer these words do. A selfish thought, maybe, as I have no idea the kind of world you're living in. I'm also no longer sure of mine as a terrible one brilliant. Aurora visible during the day now. 
teal lights draw near at night. Kara has stepped out from her place in the cave. Are the trees bending further than normal? Bowing? The groaning sound has changed from throat singing to shelling. Oceans been warm and steaming. A few more nights at this rate. Seventeenth of October, two thousand eight. It must have been ages since I looked in the mirror. The man in the glass is a stranger. It was a pleasure to meet him and get acquainted. He claimed he wanted to stay much longer, but feared he couldn't. I think we could have been close friends if he wasn't forced to move on. He's a happy man, and I think this is because he's free. I'll strive to be more. Seas and glowing skies, never hungry, never alone, chasing thoughts through caves and catching them with ease. <laughs>